guys, I am back with another video for you. Today I decided to film you my first ever first impressions video. Yesterday I decided to go and, you know, brace myself for the mall. It's the last week before Christmas and I had not done any of my Christmas shopping. So I went and I did some Christmas shopping and I did some shopping for myself and I literally bought enough makeup for myself to be able to do a first impressions video. And before I used all this stuff, I really wanted to film my reaction on all of these products with you guys in front of the camera so yeah I don't know I don't have never done a first impression I've never done a first impressions video ever here on my channel and so yeah I figured that I would kind of start incorporating tutorials and reviews and everything all in one no I really liked filming this video so I really hope you guys like it. If you guys do like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't any other concerns or requests for videos leave them down in the comment box and I will definitely get back to you guys. Um, yeah I don't know I really liked filming this. I was kind of like hesitant with talking tutorials if that makes any sense because I feel like I'm talking here for like forever and I feel like like it is going to be a three hour video. Um, I just also wanted to let you know I am going to make it a New Year's resolution to start blogging as well. Um, more towards, you know, keeping all of the reviews and opinions based on products on that blog. Um, sometimes I feel like making an entire video for one product isn't enough, but making a blog post for it is like more than enough and I will gladly ramble and ramble and ramble on the blog. So the blog that I did create is called mAlexandra.wordpress.com but yeah that is the rest of my spiel. Um, I really hope you guys like this video. I loved filming it. Thank you so much for your support all the time. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye! So I'm pretty much starting off with a bare face and everything that I'm going to be using that I bought yesterday or it'll be a couple of days ago by the time you guys see this video but everything that I'm going to be first impressioning is going to be in this bag and I'm just going to kind of pull it out as I need it. My Aveeno Daily Moisturizer in like a little pumpy um, travel friendly bottle just because it kind of lets me control the product that I'm using so I don't use as much because I literally go through that thing all the time and I waste so much of the product and I don't need to. So I'm just putting that on my face. The first thing I got was the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Get Poreless Skin Primer thing. Um, I heard like I guess kind of mixed reviews on this lovely thing but it's supposedly supposed to be a dupe for the Benefit Professional and I have used that thing for years and years and years. I actually ran out of it and I haven't gone back to buy a new one so I should go do that. But this thing actually retails to in Canadian dollars $10.99 whereas the Professional retails to $36 or $38 so you already get a decently good price for this thing and if it actually is a dupe then it's gonna save me a lot of money. But it's the same kind of like silicone consistency as the professional. I'm sorry this is gonna be like a comparison to whatever else kind of section but I'm just gonna put it on the places on my face where I have the biggest pores which is right um, on my cheeks, on my forehead and on my nose. I really don't mind putting uh, primer everywhere because primer is awesome so and it really, really, really does help your makeup stay on all day. I'm not too too big a fan of the um, like moisturizer type primers. I don't know why. I guess it's just because I started using like the silicone ones first, and I got used to them. And using a silicone-based uh, primer is actually better for me because I got oily skin. Oily skin. So I'm just gonna let that set on my face while we do the rest of my makeup. I'm actually kind of liking that so far. Hooray! So I'm just going to go and do my eye makeup and then I will be right back. So the next thing I wanted to first impression was the new Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara and I bought this guy because um, I don't know, one I never really buy mascaras when they're new. I always like wait a couple of months and see what people 
say about them first before I make the executive decision on buying it. Oh, and another thing, kind of an update on how I'm feeling about the baby skin thing. Um, I think I put too much on it just because there's still some of it that's kind of like sitting on my skin. Um, and it's been already like quite a bit since I put it on. Oh, I like this wand. I like it. So, yeah, I like this already. So I guess we're going to see how this works. Got this. This is a Tweezerman um, lash curler. I got it at Sephora maybe last year or something like that. I decided to spend the money on a lash curler because why not? Regardless of the mascara that I'm using, I always curl my eyelashes because I feel like it kind of gives you gives it that extra little boost. So I'm just going to go in and put a coat of the new Maybelline Lash Sensational mascara. I love the rubber um, wands. I hate the regular hair wands. They suck. Ooh, I like it. I like how the wand is like small enough so that it's not pretty much taking up your entire eye. I like it! My eyelashes aren't clumpy, my eyelids are a little bit of a mess right now, but I'll fix that after. Now I'm just going to speed you guys through my foundation and my concealer and I will be right back. got was the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in the, sh in the shade Sandstorm and the reason why I bought this was because my younger sister actually owns one and I was like well if she has it I may as well kind of try it out but um, yesterday when I was buying it I didn't know what shade she had so I just kind of like took a plunge and hoped for the best so I got the shade Sandstorm and in a perfect world this will be a kind of drugstore alternative to my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade Banana. Um, that thing's kind of like running low on me and I haven't gotten the chance to order a new one yet so I'm just gonna go ahead and see how this works out. So it actually looks like this is gonna be more my skin tone. See it kind of, that kind of just completely erased the highlight that I did. Whatever, for today I can do it and just set my entire face with this. This kind of works though because now I have a drugstore face powder thing that I'm going to go and set the rest of my face with a bigger blush uh, brush. And this one is the Bobbi Brown face powder brush. It is literally so old that the writing has faded off of it, but whatever. I really like this powder. I did uh, start using this Bare Minerals um, Eye Brightener Illuminator. Oh no wait, that's French. <laughs> I bought this a while ago, but I stopped using it and I started using it again. But this literally, I could have no highlight whatsoever and it'll brighten up my under eye so intensely. So I'm going to use this because even though I was okay with not being completely highlighted. I do want some light under my eyes. My designer eye bags are intense today, so I love this product. And you literally get so much in here, and especially if you're like me and you just use it for your under eye, it'll last you forever. See? You can already tell the difference from this eye to that, to that eye. Um, the only thing that I find with my skin and this powder is the fact that I can't just set it with this powder. It kind of creases on me or it makes my, uh, my concealer crease. So I have to set it with a normal face powder and then kind of like highlight that powder with this. Um, I know not too many people like layering their powders, but I really don't mind it. So that is that. Now it looks like I have a little bit more of a highlight now. I'm just going to go over those places that I had highlighted with that concealer earlier. Hooray! 
By the way, I am so pale. This isn't even exciting. The next thing I picked up in the mall was this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. And I was looking for something that uh, would pretty much act as a bronzer or a face powder that I could bronze with because Jaclyn Hill raves about the fact that face powders are the best to contour and bronze your face with because they're made to be soft on your skin so it's not chalky and it's not bad. So I went to the Sephora, not the Sephora, I went to the MAC by my school and a friend of mine, I was talking to him, he's like, well what are you looking for? I'm like, you know what? Give me a MAC uh, mineralized skin finish that I can bronze with and this is the one that he suggested to me. I really hope it works because I trust his judgment and I don't want to be disappointed. I'll start bronzing my face. Ooh, I like. So yeah. Ooh, I'm actually really liking this. It, it's like, it's not cool toned, it's definitely more of a warm toned um, color and shade, but I really like it. I feel like I won't need to contour with anything else. Like this is just giving me a really nice glow. Hooray! Thank you Kyle, I love you. By the way, he is also a makeup artist. I'm gonna link his Instagram down below. He's awesome. I'm just gonna fix my face and do my eyebrows and I will be right back. And so the next thing I bought from my lovely little trip to the mall is I decided to pick up a couple of Becca products. And these products have been talked about very, very positively over the past, like what, couple months since they've been out. And the first of two, oh, it's not coming out. Got it. Okay, so I got the Becca mineralize or the mineral blush in damselfly and it is like ah. so i'm gonna go in with my precision beauty powder powder brush powder brush so i'm just gonna ever so slightly dip my brush into it because even that got a lot of product off of it tap tap off the excess and just start Tan. I'm so excited to use this when I'm tanned because it's gonna look so pretty. And then I'm just dabbing on the rest of it and buffing it into my skin. Then I also got the the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I'm just so excited to use this. Like, no words can even explain. See, I can't even speak. That's how excited I am to do this. Tap the slight, like li literally, that was one tap and look how much product came off. Tap off the excess and just, oh, oh my god. This makes me so happy. Okay. What was life? I love finding things that other people rave about on YouTube and they work for me too. Like, I love that. It makes me so happy. I'm gonna go over that with my Bite Beauty Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Amaretto. I've been loving this color. It is like the perfect nude ever. I love it so much. So that is the end of my video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you guys want more talk through videos and you guys want to hear me talk, just, just tell me. I'll do them. I don't mind talking in front of the camera. Sometimes it's kind of nerve wracking because I'm like, what am I talking about? What did I just mention? There's nobody there to tell me what I just said. Just in case you guys forgot, all of my opinions based on all of these products, plus a couple of other ones that didn't really fit into the beauty section of this video. They are going to be posted on my blog as well along with pictures. Just keep in mind I am in no way shape or form a like pro blogger so I'm getting used to it the way I was getting used to videos so bear with me it's not going to be anything like mind-blowingly amazing but all of my uh, um, 
all my opinions based on all these products are already on the blog so you guys can go check that out if you guys want to as well but I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you soon bye